Welcome back to Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again today. Second episode on the adult medical cardiac arrest, where I'll share with you my biggest tip on how to improve in this setting of the basic medical cardiac arrest, the building block of cardiac arrest man management. So let's talk about, first of all, two big decisions you need to make for this patient. Now, last episode, we talked about the first decision you make is this patient in cardiac arrest or not? And you acknowledge that and put out a call to action to any bystanders or your workmate or your partner. So that's the first decision. Is the patient in cardiac arrest or not? We make that decision. Now we move into the next two big decisions for this patient. And the first one, this episode I'm gonna cover is, do we need to move the patient or not? Now this patient definitely needs moving. They're up against the wall. We can't get access to one side of their body for IV access later on. We can't really access their airway and their head that well. So we need to move the patient out. And nine times out of 10, in my experience, you will have to move the patient in cardiac arrest cases. If they're in bed, if they're in a car, if they're sitting up in a chair, you're gonna to have to move them. And the more space we can get around the patient, the better this case will run later on down the track. So that's the first big decision. Second one then we're covering in this episode comes once we get into our cardiac arrest workflow where the person at the head is doing great quality, one person CPR, while the second officer exposes the chest, places some defibrillation pads, and then we make out a second decision, where it's the first moment where we're getting clinical information back about the patient. Do we need to defibrillate this patient or not? So that's the second big decision. So, so far with this workflow, we've acknowledged they're in cardiac arrest, we've decided to move them or not, and then we've got into our cardiac arrest workflow, compressions and defibrillation is everything right now, and we make that decision to defibrillate the patient early. So they're the big decision at this stage. Now my biggest tip for anyone wanting to improve in their management of cardiac arrest patients in general, whether you're a novice paramedic or someone experienced, don't go out and do a 20 minute cardiac arrest scenario, where yes, you make these decisions, then you move through and you do your, your more advanced procedures. My advice, do 20 of these. 20 lots of the first two minutes of a cardiac arrest where you make those all important decisions for the patient. You move the patient, do 20 variations. Put them in a car, put them in bed, put them in a corner slumped up, uh, put them in a chair. Make it so you've got to move them from 20 different locations every time you come in and see that patient in cardiac arrest. This way, you get used to making those really important early decisions. And in every cardiac arrest, these decisions need to get made. And if you make them well, the rest of the case runs really well as well. It's my big tips from Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again on some social media.